choice of entity after tax cash flow problem three. Banana, an individual, expects her S corporation to generate ordinary profit of $200,000. Banana's marginal tax rate on ordinary income is 37%. What is Banana's after tax cash outflow from the S corporation if no cash is distributed? This question is super short and my analysis is super short as well, but there's a few things I wanna mention. So this is an S corporation. Important to know it's an S corporation and the S corporation generates profit of $200,000. Generates profit of $200,000. So all we have to do here when we have an S corporation, S corporation is a flow through entity, just like a partnership. It's one, it's taxed one time at the owner level when it's allocated. So it's one level of tax, not like a C corporation where it's two levels of tax at the owner at the, I'm sorry, at the entity level and the owner on distribution. It's one level of tax and it's when items are allocated. So whether or not the owners actually receive it, it's allocated based on income. So it's like a paper income, paper loss, even if you don't economically get that money from the actual business. Because you're the owner, you get taxed on, you get taxed on that amount. So banana's marginal rate, tax rate on ordinary income is 37%. Now we're told there's no cash distributed. And as I mentioned earlier, S corporation, it's out, just like a partnership, it's allocated income. Even if you don't receive any money, still got to pay tax on it. Even if you don't actually receive any cash on, from the S corporation, you still got to pay the tax on it. That's one of the that's one of the key items of flow through entities is you still got to be able to generate that cash. And the idea is that Congress does this. You might be saying, well, that's not fair because there's no tax paid out. Well, the idea is that you can still make your business, if you have profit, you can make them pay you a distribution, especially if Banana is the sole owner of that S corporation or owns most of the S corporation or that idea. So we're told no cash is distributed. And the question is, what is the after tax cash outflow? There is no inflow here. It's all an outflow because, or I, there, there's no cash flow here. It's a cash outflow because Banana has is just gonna have to pay taxes. That's all there is because again, it's all paper. It's all paper income. That's the point of this problem to show you. So we take the two hundred thousand dollars of profit, the two hundred thousand dollars of profit, we multiply that by the thirty-seven percent tax rate. We're gonna get seventy-four thousand dollars, but that is a cash outflow. There is no, there's no money to offset that to show that there's after, ca you know, a cash flow coming to banana. It's a cash outflow. It's taxes paid, and there's nothing, there's no cash coming in, zero cash coming to banana. So that is the answer. Seventy-four thousand dollars of cash outflow. And the point of the problem again is to show you that with S corporations with partnerships, you're allocated these items, whether you receive it or not. With an S corporation, yeah, the corporation pays tax, but you're not taxed until you receive property or cash or distributions from the entity level to the owner level for the second level. So that is created in that situation. But for the one level tax entities like S corporations and partnerships and sole proprietorships, you're taxed on it whether the business retains it or not. They, you're, you're taxed on that amount. So that is what the purpose of this problem is. And the answer is, $74,000 of tax outflow.